Hello my queens, kings, and everyone in betweens. My name is Sierra and today I have a pick a card reading on what you need to hear right now. So regardless of where we are at in the world, where you are at in life, what date, what time, what year it is, this message is for you at this time in your life. So let's just go ahead and get started here. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three here. So go ahead and pause this video if you would like to just meditate and take some time to figure out what card you would like or whatever number first pops into your head, you can go with that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and move these groups to the side and we'll start with number one here. Okay, so with group number one, let's go into the angel card that we have here. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. All right, so we have the five of swords, the nine of cups, Sorry, there's so many glares. <laughs> the Hermit. And we have the Seven of Cups. And then we'll touch on what this card is um, in a minute. So I'm just going to set that to the side for right now. So let's see here. Okay, so let's start with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups here. What the Seven of Cups is telling me is that there, this is currently a time of abundance. This is a time of success, a time of feeling um, as if you are secure in multiple areas of your life, a feeling of, you know, stability and just overall abundance. But also the Nine of Cups here is telling me something interesting which is possibly that you're not seeing this success you're not seeing this abundance because currently this card is telling me that it's time to be happy with what you have and it's time to look around at what is around you and what life you are currently living and maybe have a different perspective of the blessings in your life and what it is that you're currently learning on this path because it with the Seven of Cups, this is telling me that success is surrounding you, that abundance is currently overflowing in your life. There is a lot of um, just fulfillment, success, happiness, um, and just nothing but abundance in all terms of the word. But with the Nine of Cups, this is again telling me that you possibly aren't seeing what it is that is abundant in your life. So this is just currently a time to be thankful for what you have and maybe look at things from a different perspective. With the Five of Swords, this is telling me that we are currently in our heads. This is a time of um, being unaware of your own emotions and being unaware of your own thoughts and feelings, you know, suppressing uh, these thoughts or feelings so then that way you don't have to hear them 
or feel sad or feel negative is hindering your ability to see your success as well as hindering your ability to connect with yourself on a deeper level. With the Hermit, this card is telling me that this is a time to look inward. This is a time to find this feeling of happiness within yourself and to really figure out what it is that you are feeling and what it is that you are thinking because it seems like these negative patterns might be taking a toll on your life currently and so it's time to kind of look inwards and see what it is that is going on in your life and, you know, view the abundance that is in your life because the important thing to remember is that if we're not able to be thankful for what it is that we currently have it's going to be difficult to move on to the next step because we're almost feeling resentful we're feeling angry we're feeling hurt which is completely understandable you know we've all been in those situations where we just feel like you know, the universe is still kicking us while we're down and it's as if, you know, nothing is going right or, you know, things are just not going our way and it's just feeling like we're in this, you know, cycle of trying and not succeeding. But it's important to look within because there's something going on within this cycle that we are not seeing. So just take time to look within and, you know, find that gratitude I know it's very hard. Sometimes it can be very difficult if, you know, you are stuck in some sort of negative space or negative mindset. It is very hard to get yourself to find the gratitude in the small things, but creating a daily practice is maybe something that you should start with focusing on when going into this transition of learning more about yourself, talking deeper to yourself, and, you know, feeling the emotions that maybe you haven't been allowing yourself to feel. So um, I'm going to go into this card here. When I pulled this card, the intention that I had, they are playing cards. I got them from this thrift store to work with like numerology and things like that. Um, I am going to be getting a new deck, which I'm excited about soon. But for now, these um, have been very good for me. But this card is telling us that this number is a reminder of this message so when you're out and you see the number one obviously a is not a number so when you see the number one um, or even i guess the letter a and you you know are feeling a certain way take note of what it is that you're feeling when you are seeing this number and what it is that you are thinking where you're at who you're with you know take time to journal those sort of um observations and things like that so when you see the number one or the letter a then just remember this message so just take time for yourself focus on yourself go inwards and be willing to see the blessings in your life and be willing to um you know self-reflect a little bit and figure out what is what it is that is exactly going on in your life I'm going to go ahead and end it off with this one one more time. It's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once. Making work fun. And that is all that I have for this group. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time, hopefully. <laughs> okay, on to group number two here. We have generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. All right. So we have the Two of Cups, the Star, strength and the moon and then i'm just gonna touch on this card a little bit later so i'm just gonna set it to the side there 
all right so there's a lot going on here a lot of really good things going on here first thing that i'm noticing um well i'm noticing a couple of things right off the bat which is these two cards right here but let me touch on what i was going to mention first which is these colors that are very prominent to me so we have orange right here these colors are very similar the color patterns it doesn't seem like there's really much of a um cohesive color pattern going on besides these two and this really drew my attention so i do want to touch on it a little bit this is telling me that a um sacral chakra is important right now so focusing on your sacral chakra focusing on um you know your feeling of feeling sexy feeling in tune with your body um you know moving your body um doing things that feel good for your body just moving in ways that feel good to you so just try, put on some music start dancing and just feel your body in the way that you move and the way that you feel so the first thing that i wanted to touch on with the cards is the star and the moon so this the star is the um, aquarius the sign for aquarius tarot and then the moon is the pisces so both of these signs are very intuitive very in touch with their um, spiritual side um very you know the moon is working on psychic abilities obviously we have um, purple which is connecting to your crown chakra to your higher self to the spiritual realm and we have this star here which is a blue color that's connecting to your third eye chakra so again viewing the world in a different way um, seeing things in a different way that you maybe haven't seen them before a different sort of awakening a spiritual awakening um connecting with your intuition feeling very creative again dancing feeling like a divine power like sitting into yourself kind of figuring out who you are um it seems like a lot of good stuff is going to be coming for you it seems like you are currently you know in the middle of finding yourself and you know with this new kind of transition into this new being that you are becoming you are stepping into just a um you know more intuitive more understanding more compassionate more creative there's just so much depth to you so there's a lot of really great things going on spiritually um psychically i don't know if that's a word but your um intuition your powers of being you know whatever that is for you if your power is a good listener a power of you know understanding a power of compassion whatever it is that you have to offer to this world maybe even strength that's the power that you are currently bringing and you are sitting so deeply into this power that you know everyone around you can see it it's becoming who you are it's like this energy of strength is like cloaked around you and you are just like wearing it rocking it being this higher being of of abundance <laughs> i guess that's a good way to go into this card here um i feel just so much good energy so much self-understanding a great transition like i can't even get over this enough it just seems like so much beautiful beautiful energy so the main thing that i'm getting from these cards is just becoming a deeper part of yourself and just finally getting into that that person that you've wanted to be and that you've been working towards stepping into your higher self um, is just the energy that i'm seeing here and to top it all off with this card here as i mentioned we have abundance a feeling of balance a feeling of abundance a feeling of gratitude a feeling of just stability calm um very relaxed going with the flow allowing that energy to kind of move 
through you, with you, around you, rather than resisting it, not allowing it, um, trying to prevent it. You are just embracing everything that is around you and everything that is coming to you so gracefully. So just overall such a beautiful energy that is surrounding you currently you are stepping into a deeper part of yourself a higher part of yourself you're connecting with your intuition in ways that you maybe never have before um, maybe trying astral projection could be very good for you or also um what they call lucid dreaming um so kind of doing things that then connects you a little bit more to that spiritual side and it seems like the spiritual realm is calling you right now because we currently need your strength so it seems like maybe there's a mission being called to you that requires strength so connect with your spirit guides, connect with your intuition, and figure out exactly what mission you are being brought because um, you are currently very, very needed in the astral realm with your strength. So that is beautiful. I'm just so happy for you. I'm happy with you. This is great energy, beautiful stuff going on, nothing but positivity. But let me go ahead and jump into what this card is here. My intention when I pulled this card was a reminder when you see this number of this message. So every time you see the number three, reminding yourself of this message. So this is just kind of something to keep in your back pocket for when you're out and about. When you see the number three, take note of your thoughts, your feelings, where you are, who you're with, what's going on in your mind, and things like that. So, um, yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I did forget to mention, hold on, I did forget to mention, I, I like to read these again at the end to end off the reading, so let me quickly go ahead and do that. This says, keep your eyes on the big picture, leave the details to others, experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and again, I will see you next week. Okay, now going on to group number three. We have determination, self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. We have the king of swords, judgment, two of wands, and nine of swords and then i'm going to touch on this card at the end but i'm going to go ahead and set it there for now okay so with the let's see here where should i start i want to start at the king of swords what this card is telling me is that you are currently inspiring others you, it seems as if there are a group of people or maybe even one specific person who, sorry, I'm moving my leg here, um, who is getting their inspiration, their motivation, their um, feeling of just overall inspiration. You are just really helping these people or this person to find the you know, drive to get to what it is they're trying to succeed. So there are people currently around you who admire you, who appreciate you, who respect you. And what you do, what you say, how you say it, the way that you are interacting with this world is very important because you play a very important role, not only in these people's lives, but in the universe in general you are a very important being who has a divine purpose in this life and this is maybe time to figure out what it is that that divine purpose is and figure out what it is that you are working towards in this lifetime there are a lot of people again who are looking to you for um possibly a better understanding of the world so figuring out how to take these people under your wing while also working on your spiritual self seems like that is currently what is in the works for you right now with the judgment card this is telling me that this is a time to plant your roots to create a good foundation this is a time to drop judgment um, drop judgment of yourself and others to avoid being a critical 
avoid trying to be perfect avoid being judgmental avoid any negative root rot that you could possibly be getting from these negative energies that you know could be trying to find their way into our lives be aware of the um you know easy easy let me think here be aware of the ways that we can easily slip into negative patterns um, so just be conscious of those things because it seems like with the Nine of Swords here that there's a lot blocking you. Um, it seems like there's a lot that is currently maybe feeling like it's hindering your progress, hindering the way that you communicate with your higher self, the way that you communicate with your intuition and just your spirituality overall. But this night, this King of Swords is here to tell you that you have a purpose and that something needs to be you know, accomplished and work towards because you have a huge role in this universe and the universe is asking you to come forward and help with that. So this is a time to work on, you know, releasing these blocks, letting go of this possible fear or feeling of guilt or feeling of, um, oh, there's a word in my head here, um, of being a burden or feeling burdensome in any way you are not your emotions are completely valid the way that you feel is valid and just because certain people look up to you doesn't mean that you can't be emotional it doesn't mean that you can't have a hard time if anything that's being realistic and that's teaching the people around you and the people that you love that it is okay to feel and to want to just cry and to just want to allow yourself to honor your emotions for a little bit so connect with others and you know talk about what it is that is going on in your mind in your heart because it seems like it's possibly overwhelming you right now but what i'm getting with the two of wands is that balance is soon to come and this is going to come very quickly it seems as if this is something that you have been working towards this seems as if this is something that you have been on the path of but maybe you just accidentally slipped off for a short period of time and now is the time to get back on that path because success is finding you especially with this feeling of you know fulfillment of of helping others while also helping yourself it's just it seems like this is going to bring a lot of balance into your life so i'm going to go ahead and move on to this card here which is the number seven my intention when i pulled this card is to tell you that when you see the number seven it should remind you of this message so uh, when you see the number seven just think back to this message and remember what is going on in this world for you and what you have to offer to this world and just be aware of your thoughts your feelings your emotions where you're at and who you're with when you see this number so that is all that i have for you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week